In this video, I will be using group policy to stop Microsoft Teams from running on startup. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And first I will show you my client computer. So I will go to my VMware workstation. Here I have Windows 11 computer. And as you can see, we have Teams installed and we can see that it is currently running in here. Now if I go to the task manager and then start up apps, here we can see Microsoft Teams and the status is enabled. This means that Microsoft Teams will start automatically after registered. And to change the startup status, we need to modify a registry entry. Now to find the registry entry, I will go back to my GitHub page. I will copy the location from here. Here we have the location where the startup information is held in Windows. Now go back to the client. I will open Regedit. And then I will go to that location. So it's in the current user. I will insert the location here, press enter. And here we have this registry entry state with a value 2. Now to disable the startup, we need to change the value to 1. And for that, I will be using group policy. So I will go to my server that I have here. Then I will go to tools, group policy management. Then I will right click on group policy objects and select new. I will name the policy disable startup Microsoft Teams. Then let's click OK. I will expand group policy objects. I will select the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select edit. Here we want to go to user configuration, preferences, and then window settings. Let's click on the registry and then right click in the window here, go to new and select the registry item. And for the action, we need to select update. For the hive, we need to select current user. Now for the key path and every other value, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have all the values that I will be using. So first I will copy the key path that I have in here. I will copy it and insert the value in here. Now for the value name, once again in the GitHub page, I will copy the value from here. So it's the value name is state. And then for the value data, we need to change the type from CZ to D word. And it's here and value data needs to be one. And that's basically it. Now we can click apply. Okay, we can close this window. And we need to assign this policy to an organization unit that is holding our users. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. So I'll click and drag on the policy and place it on the organization unit. As you can see, the policy appeared in here. Then I will once again select the policy, go to details, and for GPO status, I will select uh, computer configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only user settings in it. And that's basically it. I will leave all other settings on default. Now to test this policy, I will go back to my client machine and open a command line window. And here I will type GP update. Press enter and now let's wait a bit. And the policy update was successful. If I go back to my registry editor, and then let's go to view and refresh. Here we can see the state value changed from two to one. And now to check this screen, we need to reopen the task manager and go to the start to apps. And as you can see now, Microsoft Teams is disabled. To double check if everything works fine, I will close everything in here and restart my computer. So here I will type shutdown minus R minus T zero, press enter. And once again, we need to wait a bit. And after the restart, we can sign back into the user account. Go to the task manager. Start up apps. We can still see that Microsoft Teams status is disabled and also it didn't execute during startup. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.